are going to take a bath today, and I thought I would bring you all along for the ride. Um, I know a lot of people use infant bathtubs. I bathe with Amelia, so I thought I would show you guys what that's like. Um, what I do is I fill the bathtub. I've got a little bit of bubbles here. That is Johnson's Moisture Care Baby Wash. Um, this just, I think, makes your skin super soft. Uh, I have this set up pretty warm. I usually kind of put her feet in it. You can judge if I think it's too warm for her. If so, I hold her up here until, you know, it cools down or I can put some cold water into it, but I think it's pretty good. Obviously, she's usually naked. I'm usually naked, but for the sake of the video, I thought I would save you all from that. Oh, is that warm? I, uh, you know, I start her slow, putting her in. Oh, she's she really likes that time. Um, so do I. It's a time I get to spend with her, you know, just more time, more bonding. I usually start, like I said, everything we start real slow. The baby washcloth. This is from Target. Came with a little cute owl sponge that I haven't actually used yet. Um, it says infant on it, and it's the Circo or, or yeah, I don't know. I get this completely wet, and I start with just dribbles. Just some dribbles, huh? What do you think about that? Another thing that some people really like to do is to bring a baby towel, or you could bring any towel, um, into here, and then it, you get it wet, and you keep them wrapped in it to keep them warm. Um, and that would be, if I was going to hold her like this, or if I was using an infant bathtub, um, I would do that. But I'm actually just doing this right now to get a feel for the temperature. And she seems okay with the temperature. She would let you know if she wasn't. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, but right now, I just mainly, you know, we have a little bit of water time. I'm holding her back, holding her neck here, and I'm holding her bottom. And for most of the time, you know, we're just doing this with the water. Whenever I bring out the soap and, you know, wash her, if it's getting any more slippery, then you want to have a better hold on them. And you can hold them underneath the armpits. Um, if she had any soap on her right now, I would hold her like that. Um, and that's just a better hold um, for her and I, for our safety. Um, you know, Really, we could sit in here for a long time. That's not what this video is. I'm not going to make you watch this whole, whole bath routine here. So I will go on and get to the washing. Usually we play in the water for a little while longer. But I, I take the same washcloth. I have, um, I use Johnson's. I know a lot of people um, are against Johnson's right now, and it's not everybody's cup of tea. Um, Avino is great. I heard California Baby. I'm fine with any of the things you want to use. I think Johnson's is just what a baby smells like to me because my mom used Johnson's. I just put a little bit on usually one corner. I lather it. Get it soapy. Yeah. And the main thing you want to do in a bath, you know, you don't have to use soap at all. You can just use water. Um, she's a pretty chubby six week old baby. She's got some chub, so she has rolls. Um, and that's really the, the focus is you just want to get in those folds, in those rolls, and clean out, you know, anything. You want to make sure they don't get cold. So, you know, whether it's dipping the washcloth in and keeping the water on them or dipping them into the water. Um, so I'm mainly going in her armpits and then in all of her creases. Of course, like I said, she usually wouldn't have little panties on. So usually um, you would go ahead and clean all of her intimate areas as well. And um, this is also great for if you have a diaper rash baby. This is the water and just not having, you know, um, a diaper on. And afterwards, if you can wrap them in a towel and keep a diaper off them, um, I've heard that it is great for getting the diaper rash away. And I go ahead and turn here. She has a birthmark on her neck. You probably can't see that that far away. Her neck is the hardest thing to keep clean, without a doubt. Um, you know, she's breastfeeding, so it's, it's rolling off of her you know, mouth and into her neck, and she doesn't always like to let me get under her neck with a wipe every day. Um, 
but you just have to, even if they don't like it. Because you see here, um, this is little fuzzies that have come off her clothes and they're getting under the messy, aren't they? I'm gonna face her towards me for this. There's still just soap on here. And I'm gonna go under this part of your neck here. Huh, we gotta get that. Do we gotta get that? Can we get under your neck? And then Ooh, harder. And you know, she she would let you know if she didn't like something. And if if big girl bathtub doesn't work for you, use another bathtub. This just is easy for me. Normally I would get to, you know, go home and take a bath as well or just relax time, but you know, I also shower with her and that's something you want to make sure you feel super comfortable with. I don't use any soap on her face. Um, she has baby acne, just minor baby acne, but I don't use this soap, no, directly on her face. And I just cleaned. I do sometimes use the soapy part behind her ears because she gets super dry skin behind her ears and I also lotion um, behind her ears a lot because she gets dry skin. Then I'm gonna take, um, I don't put the shampoo onto the rag. I usually just put a little pea size amount here. Oh, I have the thing it's stuck on. It's not closed. I just haven't peeled it all the way off yet. Um, I'm going to keep that on my hand. And I'm going to get her hair wet. I'm going to rub this right in. Rub you right in, huh? She might be a little hungry. She's eating on her hands, but she has a pretty good amount of hair. Um, she kind of has a mohawk because she sleeps on her sides. Um, so she's kind of lost her hair on the sides of her head, but that's okay. It's a little bit back. Let's get this all soapy. And then, go like this. She's not going to get the soap in her eyes, but she doesn't really mind if the water gets into her eyes. Um, I guess I just have a baby who likes water. When the shower's on, she doesn't mind if the shower gets in her eyes at all. So I'm gonna wash that off. And then for the back of her head, I'm gonna go ahead and get she ready. Put her head in the water. Supporting her neck, supporting her back. You know, of course, you wouldn't put her under the water. Or I wouldn't. I'm seeing videos people do. With, in, um, I have a black and white shower curtain here, so, she would definitely sit in her rock and play and watch, a shower, watch me shower, you know, no problem. Do you smile? Do you like the bats? But I prefer just to, you know, have her get in here with me. I'm going to go ahead and let her have some more time in the water. You know, she's, she's not really slippery, so I, I don't have to be supporting her fully like this, but do what you feel comfortable with, definitely. Um, and only what you feel comfortable with. Because... I wouldn't want her to go under, <laughs> you know. I, I think she would be fine. I would get her out quick enough, but why risk anything? Go ahead and make sure you got everything. Get the water on your acne there. See, there's some water in her eyes, and she doesn't mind. Doesn't mind. Do you? Um, and I'll show you how um, I get out here. I do keep a bath mat um, underneath here for, of course, if I was to stand up or when I'm showering or anything like that. But I usually stay in the tub. I just get on my knees. Um, the camera's actually sitting on my rock and play right now. I make a little nest out of a towel and I put her right into that while, and then I, you know, finish up. If I was bathing right now, then I would finish up. If I was shaving or whatever I was doing, I could finish um, doing while she sat in her little nest and kept warm and waited for mom to finish. But this time I'm just She's baiting you. I'm going to do the back of your head one more time. Ready? Oh. And you know, it's just another experience for her too. And it's another temperature. I'm going to turn here. I'm not sure what you can see. I can't see what you see. But, you know. I'm going to put her legs under. You know, and she's not really doing much splashing yet, but one day she will, and that'll be exciting. But that is just a quick little bath that we do. I just want to, you know, to show that you can bathe with your baby and feel confident and comfortable. Um, I'm gonna put her in her rock and play, and then I'll show you that setup in just one second. Bye, guys. Say, bye. So here.
here Amelia is in the little nest that I make her. Um, this is the rock and play, like I said, and it's just always sitting out here so I can set her in here and finish up my bath. And, you know, her hair is still wet, so sometimes I will try to do a quick dry. You just want to make sure that they're warm, um, and I can see her while I'm in the tub. So, excuse the laundry there. This is our laundry threshold. But, there she is, all nice and dry. And that's how I bathe with Miss Amelia.